On behalf of my co-authors and myself, I am pleased to present this video abstract for a paper we recently published in GUT. Hello, my name is Marcus Claesson. I'm the Principal Investigator at APC Microbiome Ireland at University College Cork. My main research interest is the role of gut microbiome in health and disease, in particular inflammatory bowel disease. IBD is a chronic inflammatory disease that comprises of two distinct disorders, ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease, both of which have a similar clinical presentation but differ in the inflammation pattern. Both subtypes are characterized by recurring phases of remission and relapse. IBD is a heterogeneous multifactorial disease that involves genetic factors, a disturbed immune response, environmental triggers, as well as an altered gut microbiome. In this longitudinal study, we investigated how different lifestyle and environmental factors, as well as the disease activity, changed the composition of the gut microbiota. We collected stool samples from 700 Irish and Canadian subjects at three time points. In addition to 16S amplicon sequencing of these samples, we also recorded medication and dietary intake, as well as lifestyle information. We observed a clear shift in microbial composition in patients with IBD compared to healthy controls. Gut microbiomes from patients that experienced a relapse were shifted further away from the healthy controls than the microbiomes from patients in remission. The microbial composition of patients with IBD showed a decreased diversity compared to that of healthy people, and samples of IBD patients exhibited less similarity to other samples within their respective disease group than that of healthy controls. Additionally, it also displayed a reduced temporal stability, especially in patients that transitioned from one disease state to another. Numerous species were found to be differentially abundant in the gut of patients with IBD compared to healthy controls, and to a lesser extent between patients with UC and CD. We did, however, not find any significantly differentially abundant species between patients with active and inactive disease. We used the machine learning approach extreme gradient boosting to see if we can train a model that can distinguish between the different groups based on the relative abundance of certain taxa in the gut. The model found enough signal to separate healthy controls from patients with IBD, but was less effective to discriminate between the IBD subtypes. Due to the lack of differentially abundant taxa at a single time point, this approach was not successful to separate patients with active and inactive disease. But when we took the instability of the gut microbiome of IBD patients into account by training the model ratios of abundances between two time points, we achieved a steep performance increase. We think it's a microbiota variation over time that allows us to distinguish between patients that are in relapse from those that are in remission. This is the first step towards relapse prediction, which could eventually evolve into new prognostic tools. To investigate which of the covariates explained most of the variability of the microbial composition, we rank them based on their explained variants. Unsurprisingly, a diagnosis with Crohn's disease came out on top of that list. But more remarkable was that the geographic location of the participants accounted for the second highest explained variance. While unexpected, this might explain the varying results of IBD studies from different countries in the past. Any future attempt to therapeutically manipulate the gut microbiota will not only need to be robust enough to cut through the inter-individual noise, it will also need to make better use of intra-individual dynamics. Thank you for your attention and please find the link to our open access publication in the description below.